That's the power of the cameras of life, people. Oh my gosh, no way. <laughs> <laughs> Scientists are working around the clock to develop a new vaccine as well as to ease our testing routines as well. There are scientists out there working 16 hours out of a whole 24-hour schedule in order to bring it out as fast as possible. Obviously, we know that it takes sometimes years, let alone uh, weeks or months. So right now, they're looking at, in terms of testing, they're trying to find ways where it will be faster and it will need less equipment, maybe even as simple as a pregnancy test. Obviously, you don't pee on the test. That's not what you do. But things where it's as easy and, and as efficient in that sort of same manner. Yeah, well, what, what do you think about that, Jace? Like, I think it also like emphasizes just how important scientists are and also re-emphasizes my love for science as well. I think it's... Yeah, I'm, I'm a big advocate for how important scientists are. I think scientists are the best. <laughs> 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 no, no, but it's, it's, I mean, it's commendable because I feel like, obviously, and for the right reasons, a lot of sectors get are being applauded in this period of time. But I feel like scientists get left behind and not given the credit that they deserve because right now the whole world are relying on scientists to come up with a vaccine as well as testing equipment. How think, big I is think that? In general, scientists are always we're always in the background. Yeah, I agree. Because it's kind of like so it's either the doctors who get the applause or like the for for treating patients. Or, or whatever but the scientists are the ones that are in the background if you've been working on these drugs on these vaccines on these these treatment procedures all that kind of stuff which has been happening in the in the background for years people don't see that and obviously people only see when only see like the front line which is um, the clinical stuff so the clinical stuff who are the ones that administer the treatment or whatever but they don't realize that there's also important people in the background who have been testing these drugs doing doing the data analysis doing all like doing all these all these different things to make sure that that drug that or that pill that you're using has been has been validated has been tested and it's it's effective and i think like right now even when this happens like yes we're coming for nhs which we definitely should be um I, we definitely should be appreciating them but people are forgetting that there's also scientists who are putting in hours and hours and hours of their lives and some of some people have even like stopped their like as in like stopped the focus of their of their research and their study to to now work on covid and they're, they're putting in hours and hours and no one's recognizing them and of course i'm not saying like scientists definitely uh, believe me scientists definitely don't do this for recognition because for sure for sure <laughs> Well, but that's the same in the same manner the doctors don't do what they're doing for recognition as well course, but I feel course. like scientists should also be given some sort of yeah, credit because should, yeah. I generally I don't mean, see I generally don't see a well I don't personally see a word mentioned about scientists or whatever like, no not at all, not at all. I don't it's see just people literally about... like oh you know people are trying to bring out a vaccine as quick as possible but who's doing it how is it coming like, it's never mentioned so it's like saying yeah. not pick on sci like doctors and whatnot but it's, it's like saying oh a lot of people have recovered a lot of people have survived but and and not saying thanks to the doctors or whatever I don't know yeah that's just I don't know I just noticed that scientists weren't given any credit so people may, obviously some people definitely won't know this but even um, universities and, and even some industry uh, some uh, private labs have been kind of like donating equipment for all the testing like my, my lab we um, has basically given lo loads of equipment and now there's even like people who are going to be helping with the testing and all that kind of stuff to help basically basically help the NHS and help the and obviously these people aren't getting won't get won't get the recognition but like, it's a big big kudos to all of them because they're all doing vital work which is and obviously it's all in the background and it's going to be unseen but they're doing amazing things which is going to be helping the fight against covid and like even if so if they i hope they, they get some kind of just a little something and i'm going to give them a clap because we clap for the nhs but on i'm gonna podcast, join you I'm on gonna, that as well i'm, I'm gonna i'm gonna clap so clap for the scientists as well big up and scientists up, pick them up pick them up yeah yeah <laughs>